How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Midnight, aka the Prince of Persia, and I'm back once again, but this time it is not with a gameplay. It's actually a class setup video from Black Ops 2. A lot of people have been asking me to make one of these, so I thought I'd make a really quick one for you guys just to show you what I think are the best classes to use as of right now in Black Ops 2. Um, my opinions will most likely change on these as the game goes on, but as of right now, I've been doing really good with them. I've been really successful with these classes. I've gotten all my high scoring gameplay, 70, 80, 90, and almost my 100+. plus. I'll probably be getting that real soon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Now, let's get on with the class setup video. Uh, I'm not going to repeat every single perk. I'm pretty sure you guys can see them all. I'm just going to explain it once for you guys and then go through the rest of my classes. So my first gun, it is the PDW-57 submachine gun with the fast mag attachment. Fast mag is just basically a faster reload, but this submachine gun is amazing. It's really good. It's really powerful. I've used it quite a lot. And uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is the iron sights, but I've kind of gotten used to it and I sub and I hip fire a lot with this submachine gun as well, so it's not really a big issue for me. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend using that. My secondary is the B23R pistol. It's a three burst pistol that's basically like the Rafika from Modern Warfare 2. So it's a really good pistol. Some people use this as a primary. That's how good it is. And um, yeah, I have that pistol on all my classes, I'm pretty sure. Now for my perk one, I use a wild card in order to get an extra perk one. Um, I am using a ghost and flak jacket. So I use ghost and flak jacket on my submachine gun class because... I want to be as stealth as possible. I'm constantly going to be flanking when I'm using the submachine gun. You know, you're going to be killing people from close range, so you want to be as stealth as possible. And I also use flak jacket because a flak jacket in this game is a must in my opinion. I'm pretty sure I use it on all my classes because uh, playing the objective in this game is a must. Uh, you know, I run the high streaks a lot, and if you guys like doing that as well, then you know you're going to want to cap a lot of flags and. You're going to want to, you know, earn your point streaks as fast as possible. So it makes a lot of a difference, or it makes a whole heck of a lot of a difference. Uh, what did I just say? But yeah, you guys know what I mean. Um, perk 2 is scavenger. This gun runs out of ammo a lot. I have scavenger on all my classes because I hate running out of ammo. I hate picking up other people's weapons. And perk 3 is dexterity, which is basically uh, faster... Um, or you recover faster after sprinting, so your gun recovers faster after sprinting. It's really good on submachine guns. I have dexterity on all my submachine gun classes uh, because uh, you know I hip fire a lot with them, and I want to recover my gun a lot faster after I'm sprinting. Um, my lethal C4 and my tactical is concussion. I have those on all my classes as well. Okay, so my custom two, it's the Scar H, which is a really good, basically like the Scar L. Um, uh, I have suppressor and extended mags on this weapon. Uh, those are really two. Uh, those are really good attachments to use on it. The silencer and extended mags, and then I have my secondary, the B23R. Once again, my perks are flak jacket and hardline this time, so not flak jacket and ghost. I don't really uh, feel the need to use ghosts on this class. I'll rather use hardline to earn my streaks a bit faster. And my perk three is attack mask because I just hate getting flashed. It seems like I get flashed the most while while using this gun. So. I don't know why, I decided to use uh, attack mask on all my assault rifles. I think it's because I play a bit more defensively while I'm using them because you can't rush as much. So, you know, people tend to flash you a lot more when uh, you're playing a bit more defensively. Um, my custom 3, it is the MP7. I'm using suppressor and laser sight. The laser sight, what it does is it uh, gives you a better hip fire. It's basically like steady aim. Um, and then my perks, I am using ghost and flak jacket. That's basically what I use on... All my submachine gun classes, and you guys can see everything else, it is just the same. It's a really good class, the MP7. It's not as powerful as uh, some of the other submachine guns, uh, but it's definitely really good. And I feel really comfortable using it because I've used it a lot in Modern Warfare 3. And, uh, you know, coming back into this game, uh, since it kind of looks the same, I just feel a lot really comfortable using it. And it's still a really good weapon. Okay, so my fourth uh, class, or my custom four, it is the M8A1, and the perks that I have on it is uh, Quick Draw and Reflex. So Reflex is just a red dot, and Quick Draw is aiming down faster. Now this gun is a monster. It's a four burst, four burst assault rifle. So instead of three, it shoots four bursts. It's a monster. It's really good. I'd really recommend using it. This is probably the best weapon to use in the game. 
Uh, you can't rush as much with it. You can't play as aggressively as you can with some of the other guns with it. But, you know, you can just stay back and just pick people off. It's really good. That's why I have Hardline and Flak Jacket on this class as well as Tac Mask because I'm going to be staying back a lot and I want to guarantee myself my streaks every time. So my final class is the MSMC. This is my most favorite class in the game as of right now. It is really strong gun. Okay, this gun is amazing. I'm using the extended clip and the suppressor on it because, um, you know, suppressor weakens it a bit. So you got to put a few extra bullets into them. And uh, that's why I have the extended clip so, you know, it wouldn't affect anything. And I'm using Ghost and Flak Jacket on this class because, you know, this is my class where I'm always in the zone. I'm always in the enemy spawn. And I just rush around a lot with this class. And, you know, I got to use Scavenger on this gun, of course, because it runs out of ammo really quick. All the guns in this game run out of ammo extremely quickly, so Scavenger is a must, in my opinion. And Dexterity, once again, you guys already know, because I'm using a submachine gun, I want to recover a lot faster from sprinting. And, yeah, you know, everything else is the same. You know, most of my perks are the same. I don't really use any other perks because I don't find the need to. Like, uh, for perk 3, um, there's Extreme Conditioning, which... Uh, it's not unlimited sprint in this game. You only get, I don't know, a few extra meters of sprinting. So in my opinion, it's not it's a waste of a perk. Um, it's a waste of a perk slot to use. And Dead Silence and Awareness. These two perks are really good for Search and Destroy. But since I only play Ground War, I don't find a, a use in them. You know, Ground War is really hectic because it's really loud. I don't think I can be hearing people anyways. And I don't think I'm going to be sound whoring in Ground War at all. And Engineer. Uh, you can show enemy equipment and everything, and I don't really need that since I'm going to be using Flak Jack in all my classes. Now, perk 2, uh, cold-blooded. I don't need to use it. I'm going to be constantly rushing. Uh, immune to counter UAV and EMP for this. So I don't need that once again. Like, I mean, all these perks, uh, you don't really need them. They're all just um, perks uh, for different play styles, I guess. I mean, it's all personal preference, but I rather have scavenger on my class instead of uh you know cold blooded which uh, i don't you know really uh need to be uh resistant to like the dual band the target finder and all that kind of stuff and fast hand swap weapons faster i don't usually switch to my pistol at all so you know scavenger is probably the best second perk and um perk one perk one you know blind eye um <laughs> The enemies don't usually call kill streaks in when I'm playing because I try really hard when I play. Um, lightweight, it's it's pretty good. I don't like to use it, but like I mean, hardline, ghost, and flak jacket. Those are probably the three best perks in my opinion in the game. So all these perks, uh, I mean, they are good, but they're definitely not as good as these ones. So these ones will come in handy a lot more frequently. And uh, that is about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumbs the video up. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And, you know, definitely subscribe. Be sure to be on the lookout for my next video. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.